The 11 names protected when a grand jury released its report on clergy sex abuse in Pennsylvania remain protected tonight due to a state Supreme Court ruling. But tonight, abuse victims and the state attorney general are making new calls for transparency. John Shumway is live with more. John. You know, Ken, the original grand jury report came out, and most of the priests in that report are public. The names are out there. But these 11 that remain protected, according to the victims, are salt in the victims' wounds. And they say they put a cloud over every priest in Pennsylvania. When the grand jury report came out, there were large sections blacked out, redacted, including the names of 11 people who have not been charged and wanted their names protected. Yesterday, the Supreme Court upheld those redactions. It is important that these redactions be undone. The state Supreme Court did us an injustice yesterday. Today, two former priests who are abuse survivors from their youth came to Pittsburgh, one from Erie, the other from New Jersey, to call for a lifting of all secrecy. They want transparency. The worst thing about child sexual abuse is secrecy. Attorney General Josh Shapiro, who has led the grand jury to its report and still leads the ongoing investigation. We've got over 1,400 calls to our clergy abuse hotline. A number of those calls have real interest to us and are being investigated. Told us on KDKA radio this morning the Supreme Court decision continues the injustice. That it really just allows predator priests to remain in the shadows and it permits the church to continue to conceal their identity. The focus of today's calling out was Cardinal Daniel DiNardo, now the leader of the Archdiocese of Houston, but once held many positions here in Pittsburgh. Cardinal DiNardo, Bishop Zubik, Cardinal Whirl, Bishop Bevilacqua, who became Cardinal Bevilacqua, all of these people who pledged secrecy in various levels of their uh, episcopacies, of their hierarchy, uh, what do you know that must be told to the parishioners here in Pittsburgh and all of the public in Pittsburgh to keep children safe? While the court did not order the release of the names, Attorney General Shapiro says Bishop Zubik, who is in the midst of listening sessions throughout the diocese, could release the names on his own. So Bishop Zubik knows exactly who those petitioners are, and there's nothing barring him from releasing those names. Yeah, but the Pittsburgh Diocese takes issue with that statement. In fact, in a text message that I got within the past hour, the Pittsburgh Diocese says since the diocese was not a party to the appeals, we do not know where the 11 are from. Now, coming up new at 6, more information about why the two priests came to Pittsburgh and why they are taking shots at Cardinal DiNardo. Live downtown, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.